we're gonna do a quick overview of a hello autopilot um, and then i'm going to walk you through all the features in this video uh, we'll talk about basic troubleshooting in our next video but for now let's um, just take a look at all the tabs all the campaigns and all the features that we have uh, so as soon as we land on our uh, first page is the dashboard page uh, the dashboard page just gives you a brief overview of uh, how you're doing what are your sales what are your revenue uh, we're going to take up a, um, a user that has um, historically performed poor and we're going to uh, do some troubleshooting on his campaign so the first thing that you have to do is go to the campaigns tab in the campaigns tab you can see a list of all the profiles that he uh, the user has activated uh, there are some inactive profiles as well. Um, you can see the inactive profile. Uh, you can switch it on to make it active, and you can see all the campaign, all the profiles are active. Uh, but the user is not using this uh, profile. This profile was a long time ago in the Amazon advertising, uh, a separate application. But now Amazon has merged the Amazon advertising services and Seller Central, uh, so we can just switch this off. And once we switch this off, the profile goes off. So these are the two active profiles for the user. Uh, you click on a profile for Amazon US, for instance, here. And you can see all the campaigns for the user. And you can sort them by spend. You can sort them by sales. You can sort them by echoes. Uh, you can even filter them by different status. If, for example, you can filter out the paused um, campaigns. And the two critical uh, stat that we always check, always, always check, is the CTR and CVR. Um, uh, click-through ratio is the amount of people that clicked your ad and a conversion is the amount of people that bought your product after clicking your ad um, ideally they should be above eight so here you can see the click-through rate should be about 0.3 so the click-through rate is really good for this user that means the title is good the price is good um, the, the product is good but people are not buying it probably i don't know why maybe low reviews um, probably um, the price is maybe, you know, um, doesn't stand out among the competitors. Maybe the competitors are doing a same targeting and offering better option. Uh, th this is a complicated, you know, way to solve the conversion ratio uh, if it's low. Uh, we'll talk about that in a separate webinar. But for now, just keep an eye that the conversion ratio is pretty bad for most of the campaigns. And we sort by span and we go inside one of the campaign. Uh, this user has only one ad group, which is pretty good. We recommend to have only one ad group per campaign. And once you click on the campaign, you can see the user has 110 keywords, uh, which is really, really bad. Uh, you, you need to have no more than 20 keywords. Uh, some people recommend 10 keywords, but we say, you know, 10 to 20 is, uh, is really good. Uh, one thing that we do is we rank the keywords based on its potential. So this is not a past performance. This is how it's going to perform in the future. Uh, uh, the lower the rank, the better it is. So you can see that uh, homemade soap and soap bar pack and soaps. These are the top keyword for this product. Uh, as you scroll up, um, you can see that um, this is really the worst uh, keyword. Um, there are some keywords that are not even ranked. So these are either paused or these are not even worth you know spending time and money on um, but if you do you know spend some time and money on it it'll start ranking them automatically um, that said you could uh, uh, you go back to the campaigns and you can click on autopilot so click on autopilot switches on the autopilot uh, shows autopilot screen and you can switch on the autopilot from here uh, there are also advanced options. Uh, the advanced options for autopilot will be talking about again in a different uh, in a different video. For now, just you know, if you follow the basics, you can put a um, a cost target. You can switch it on and you can click save. Uh, that'll save the autopilot. Uh, once an autopilot is on, you can um, check the autopilot logs either here by clicking on the logs, um, or you could go to this autopilot logs and you could select a profile you could select a campaign and um, you could um, select a group and you can check how the autopilot has performed you know for a specific day this is the latest day if you want to check the autopilot for a different day uh, you can choose a different day and it will show you what the autopilot has done for that specific day for each autopilot you know for each keyword um, it shows what is the spend for the last seven days or for whatever the the setting is 
for the ACOS average is by default it's seven. Uh, what the spend is, what the sales has been, what is the bid and what is the new bid. Uh, here you can see Autopilot has reduced the bid from 2.62 to 2.47. And the reason is, um, yeah, here are the reason, uh, historical poor performance. Yeah, recommended bid is far lower than what the current bid is. Uh, this is the worst performing, you know, uh, among the group. The ranking is 63. Um, historical and campaign performance is not optimal. So it's, uh, it's reducing the bid for a bottom performing keyword. So this keyword is really one of the worst performing keyword um that's that's all there is you know um it's pretty straightforward you can go to campaigns you can go to uh, you can go to check for each campaign and check for the log or you can go to the uh, autopilot log uh if you want you can go to the campaign audit where you select a profile and i'm going to audit the pro uh, the campaign that we just saw and then i'm going to click analyze this will start analyzing all the uh all the keywords and ad groups within that campaign and it's going to show you what is right or what is wrong within the campaign mm. you, you you need the autopilot to run for at least seven to ten days before it shows you what exactly is right and wrong with this campaign um, so the audit is complete you can see product quantity is one which is really good the click-through ratio is 6.857 which is exceptionally good um, autopilot is on so it's good uh, the conversion ratio trend is a um, slightly increasing but the echoes trend uh, or the echoes is really bad and um, the conversion ratio is also exceptionally bad it's uh, at minus 82 score uh, so that's the audit you can dig deeper into you know into the products you can do the audit of the products inside it uh, but right now there's only one product so the uh, so it doesn't matter you can audit even um, each of the keyword uh, but starting off, you know, you, you should just be uh, keeping an eye on the audit of the main campaign itself. If you want to connect new marketplaces, you can just go here and connect. The user, user has connected all his marketplaces. Um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, um, uh, if you want to switch on autopilot or if you want to check, you know, um, what each campaign is doing, you can just uh, do it from the autopilot uh, tab. Uh, here, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this red wine and you can see how it is performing on this chart. This chart you can also see in the campaigns. If you, uh, if you select a profile and you select a campaign, if you scroll down, you can see how the spend versus the sales has been happening for the last uh, 30 days. Uh, if you want to change for the instead of the last 30 days, you want to last 60 days, you could select the last 60 days or 90 days or different preset you can also you know select uh, random dates from here um, for example first of july to 24th of august and you can see how this performed from first of july to 24th of august yep so that's that it is to um, to the basics of autopilot um, one more important thing is once you click on a campaign and you go to the ad groups here you can see all the keywords you can also click on the on the tab and you can search for negative keywords or you can search for the products inside it uh, so this person has only one product you can click on it and you can see what product it is um, you can search for you know um, search terms that uh, the user has uh, used uh, the search terms are what the customers uh, use to reach your product yep and uh, yeah and the default is the keywords uh, available in this campaign that's all there is to the basics of autopilot uh, next couple of videos we'll be talking about uh, what are the specifics of autopilot uh, how to troubleshoot your autopilot and um, what are the best practices for uh, for the amazon ad campaign as well as autopilot